Hey everyone, it's Ishara here and welcome to my spring video tutorial series. This is going to be the very first lesson and in this video tutorial, I'm going to give you an overview of spring framework. It's very important because before learning concepts, it's better to have an idea where you should actually go for it. So let's get started. As the first thing, let's see what is spring and why is it used. Spring is an open source framework and it was introduced as an alternative to heavier enterprise Java technologies. For example, Spring is an alternative to EJB's enterprise Java Beans. And also, Spring addresses the complexity of enterprise application development. So, if I say in a simple sentence, Spring simplifies Java development. So now let's see how actually Spring simplifies Java development. As the first thing, Spring allows lightweight and minimally invasive Java development with POJOs. Do you know what a POJO is? A POJO or a plain old Java object is an instance of a simple Java class which is not bound by any framework specific restriction. Is it confusing? Well, let me take an example. If you consider EJB framework, it has its own framework specific classes and interfaces and EJB components should extend or implement these EJB specific classes and interfaces. But a POJO is not bound by such restrictions. In addition to that, POJOs can function equally well in Spring applications as well as in non-Spring applications. These POJOs make Spring lightweight and as Spring is lightweight, it allows lightweight servlet containers like Tomcat instead of heavy application servers like JBoss. And therefore, Spring applications can be developed and deployed even on computers with limited CPU and memory. Now let me draw your attention towards aspect-oriented programming. Spring allows aspect-oriented programming which complements object-oriented programming by providing another way of thinking about program structure. In object-oriented programming, the key unit of modularity is the class, whereas in aspect-oriented programming, the key unit of modularity is the aspect. And the next thing is, Spring allows loose coupling through dependency injection and interface orientation. What is dependency injection? If you want to learn dependency injection, watch my next video tutorial on dependency injection. So, these are some ways how Spring simplifies Java development. So, Spring is really, really, really awesome. So, I hope you guys found this video tutorial informative. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video tutorial. And don't forget to leave your comments. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos. I'll see you again. Thank you.